what's up everyone this is thunder with the lightning bros and today i'm going to share with you a story that i hope inspires each and every one of you video games when most people hear this they think of little kids playing video games all day or maybe someone who's out of shape and an outcast who has no friends playing video games all day but in reality the video game industry is estimated to be worth 100 billion dollars this year and yeah that's billion with a b People have access to over 11,000 games on clients such as Steam for the computer or consoles like the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One that are complete multimedia powerhouses. The gaming industry had a humble birth, beginning with Pong in November of 1972 when it was the first mainstream commercially successful game to be released. However, over the last 45 years, games have evolved into a completely immersive art form, such as AAA titles like Fallout 4, where you can do all sorts of things like kill a super mutant with a chain gun, to games that you can play on your mobile device, like your cell phone or iPad, that range from racing to strategic games. With the rise of popularity in competitive games like Hearthstone and CSGO, tournaments for these games led to the establishment of professional gaming and esports leagues. Of those, one of the most popular games to play was League of Legends, where you take control of one out of 134 available heroes or champions in a MOBA, or Multiplayer Online Battle Arena. While I myself have not played League of Legends, I know many people that have, and with any online competitive game comes people who get overly competitive and can get very salty or even toxic, and I mean really salty, even getting to the point of bullying other players. However, there are shining beacons of hope, gamers who inspire everyone around them and other gamers across the world to be the best that they can be and do amazing things. Like this player, Keith Knight, or better known as the Aeron. He has a form of muscular dystrophy known as amyoplasia arthrogrippos. But Keith doesn't let that keep him down, or stop him from living his life to the fullest. Like hanging out with pro League of Legends players, or earning his business degree at Kwantlen Polytech University. But the main reason we're talking about him today is because he's a gamer. As you can see in the webcam, there's little switches by my feet. That's right, he uses switches by his feet a pin in his mouth, and a mouse between his cheek and his ear to own you in whatever game he's playing. His playstyle not only allows him to slay noobs, but helps his condition as well. Uh, legs will get like more fragile as they get older, so it's a good way to actually build the muscle and keep the leg active, which is good for me. And as my fellow gamers know, adding physical activity to your gaming session is always good for your health. Keith has his own Twitch channel named Aaron, where he has streamed many league matches some of which were used to raise donations for charities or to supplement his own income like other Twitch streamers. Pedro, Pedro, keep doing it. <laughs> I'm not even going to say anything because what's happening on stream right now, I don't even care. <laughs> Keith is skilled at multiple champions and has slain many enemies. But regardless of the cause, Keith always enjoys teaming up with fellow players and friends for a good match of League of Legends. But wait, he doesn't only play League, he also plays World of Warcraft, where he competitively raids with a dedicated group of raiders in in-game content, fighting bosses that require much skill on heroic and mythic level difficulties, which the casual gamer has no hope of completing while it is still current. But he doesn't stop there. He also plays Overwatch, where he teams up with friends and other players to complete objectives in very competitive matches. Keith utilizes his special technique and skill as a gamer to play all sorts of games, including Earthbound, Injustice 2, Darkest Dungeon, GTA 5, Undertale, Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm, Ark, Pokemon Go, and many, many more. However, earlier this year, he had to have surgery to remove one of his lungs and has been unable to play for the majority of this year. He's been battling infections and trying to let his body heal. However, if Keith Knight the Aeron has taught me anything, it's that true heroes always rise and that nothing can keep you down and that with friends, you can overcome anything. So please support Keith with your prayers, good vibes, subscribing to his Twitch channel and following him on Twitter. 
I hope Keith's story inspires you like it inspired me. And if you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, and subscribe.